Well, I thought I would try to make this easy for you, because I know that you spent enough time on it already. In WordPress, there are a few plugins that I would consider essential. One of them is called Askamet. Now, what Askamet is, is it's a spam blocker system. These spam bots get a hold of these blogs and they just start posting crap all the time. And they don't post comments, they post advertisements. You don't want your blog being run over with advertisements. So it's pretty important to have this plugin. Um, and you download it from wordpress.org. Now, to activate it, you have to have an Askimet API key. And you can apply for one right here with this link. You just click the link and it takes you to this place, uh, Askimet for WordPress. And you click here to get an Askimet API key. And you'll want to write that down or put it in your uh, safe place with all your usernames and passwords. Your Askimet API key if you end up doing other blogs later, uh, maybe you do a Tommy Kramer music blog or whatever, you can use this uh, Askimet API key again and again. So I highly recommend it. A couple others. Um, the audio player widgets I'm not gonna tell you which one works best because I don't know I've got a couple of them and I haven't even activated them there is an embed HTML5 audio that I do have activated I haven't used it so I can't really recommend it because I haven't actually seen it in action yet uh, there's one here called the hello dolly and it does it adds no functionality or beauty to your website all it does is whenever you open up WordPress and the dashboard each time you'll get a lyric from hello Dolly like this one up here Dolly never go away again isn't that cute so it's just a little inside joke for people who do this um, share buttons are kinda nice uh, the share buttons uh, are they appear on the web page well here let's go up and visit the website we are visiting brownswick.com let's go to this first article and at the very bottom of the article you'll see this little guy this little share save and if you hover over it it gives you all these different places you can share this article. If I'm reading this article, I might want to put it up on my Facebook page or my Google Plus page, or I may want to uh, post it to Reddit or twit tweet it or whatever. Having this here just makes it real easy for anybody to share this information and implicitly share a link to get more people to uh, come see it. So that's a good one to have. Uh, back to our plugins. Um, I don't know what this subscribe to is. I haven't activated it. The share buttons we talked about. Type post order. This just allows you to use a drag and drop JavaScript to order the posts and post type objects just dragging and dropping. I, honestly, I've never used it. I don't really know what it's for. This Jetpack by WordPress uh, is something that brings some features that are available to WordPress.com users onto the self-hosted WordPress websites. I don't really know what some of those features are, so I haven't really used it, but I have activated it so I know it's active I just haven't used it the contact form I don't really use now this CAPTCHA I think is a good one to use what it is is when somebody goes to post something like a comment on your blog like let's go visit the blog and we'll
will go to this article and down at the bottom I could post a comment blah 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 and when I post it it is going to well it actually took it because I'm an admin so I'm gonna have to rep I'm gonna have to take that off but normally if you're not an administrator it would present you with those little words or uh, yeah they're words that you have to copy down and type in to prove that you're not a spam bot uh, posting something so the captcha thing is good let's go back to the dashboard we have uh, mm, comments now there's one and there it is and it was already approved but we're going to trash it yes is there an empty the trash yeah. yeah, move to trash. Yeah, it's gone. Trash. There's one thing in the trash. Empty the trash. And now it's gone. So, going back to plugins, those are the main ones. The audio player. The Ask Emet is the big one. You definitely want that for spam protection. And I always put the Hello Dolly on. It's kind of fun. And those are really the two big ones. And Hello Dolly's kind of optional. But And CAPTCHA. CAPTCHA and Ask a Met are kind of essential. So, that's all you need to know about plugins for now. But what about embedding your YouTube videos in a post? Well, let's go to one of my posts. Go to this BPAA US Open post that I have up. And here is where the article was written. These yellow boxes indicate uh, something that has been posted here that doesn't show up in this window. But this is a SoundCloud audio file. And then we go down further. And here are the photos that I put in here. What we want to do is get all the way down to the bottom of the article where I've posted a YouTube video. That's what uh, this yellow box is. And I'm going to delete it so that you can see how this works. At the end of uh, at this YouTube video is actually going at the end of the article. so. There's two um, interfaces in play here. There's this one, the visual interface, which is kind of a what you see is what you get. This kind of lets you know how the article is going to appear. And then there's the HTML, which has the HTML coding and the content. Well, to embed the video we have to be in this HTML tag so or tab so we're looking at the HTML here's the last para paragraph and this and NBSP semicolon is some kind of a spacer an HTML spacer so I'm just gonna return down one line from there and this is where we want to embed the video so how do we do that well I'm gonna open Safari I'm gonna go to where I know this video is it's on YouTube and it is the 1976 BPAA US Open and there it is with Chris Schenkel and Paul Moser and now every YouTube page has this information and they've made it a little harder to find 
So let's see if we can dig it out here. Uh, could it be in settings? Oh no, it's here in share. In share, you click share, and then right here you want you, not this not this address, but where it says embed, you want that, and it gives you this, and you just copy it. Command C, get that out of the way. And now we're going to go back into our article on the HTML tab. And down here where we need to put it, we're going to go Command V to paste that code that we just uh, copied from YouTube. And since this is the end of our article, we are done. So uh, since this is an article that was already published once, all I have to do is click update and it is now successfully updated so I can go to brownswick.com visit site and this will take me to the web page and this is the link to that article right there and now there's the article and if we scroll down to the bottom of the page there's that uh, there's that uh, SoundCloud piece that was in there. That's audio, which is another way to embed audio in your page. All the way down here. And there is the YouTube video embedded right there on the page where we click it and it plays. Okay, Paul, you do that. And that's how you embed YouTube videos on a WordPress blog. That is all.